creative destruction. The same happens on a mega scale in institutions, nations, geopolitics, the same process of apocalyptic. Our civilization has become both borderline and narcissistic. Our civilization is personality disordered for many reasons which I've gone into in many other videos which I encourage you to watch. But this is more or less a well-established fact. Younger generations are five times more narcissistic than previous ones. This is a situation nowadays. Social media, the technology, Technology caters to grandiosity, to atomization, to solipsism, to rejection of the other, and so on and so forth. It's, it's a narcissistic ambience or environment. And the masses, the narcissistic masses, feel that they're being held hostage and enslaved by rapacious, venal, and mendacious, no less narcissistic, possibly psychopathic, elites. Elite is the new curse word. Narcissists and elite. The masses regard these elites and the values of these elites as avowed enemies. The enemy is not, the, is not another country or even another ethnicity. The, enemy, the enemies are the elites. The West, governments, academia, migrants, mainstream media, science, the finances industry, and of course, inevitably, and always, the Jews. These are the enemies. And the enemies of your enemies are your friends. So the enemies of the elites are the friends of the masses. Terrorists, anti-Semites, conspiracy theorists, Russia, Putin, China, populist authoritarians, the alt-right. These are all the friends of the masses, only because the only qualification to be friends of the masses is their hatred or rejection of the elites. The masses abuse democracy and empowering technologies in order to destroy the established order. And this is the apocalyptic phase of narcissism. This is Jose Ortega y Gasset's famous book, Revolt of the Masses, 1933, if I recall correctly. And this revolt of the masses, which is essentially narcissistic apocalyptic, always results in mob rule, ochlocracy, and in atrocities. And we are very nearly there.